Welcome to the world of snooker, where skill defies belief and shots defy logic. Today, we're diving into 14 insanely good snooker shots that just don't make sense. Wait until you see number 6, it's one of my favorite shots. So let's dive right on in. Starting off strong with Ronnie O'Sullivan as number 14. Ronnie O'Sullivan is often celebrated in the snooker world. One of his most iconic shots occurred during a successful 147 break. After potting 12 reds and 13 blacks, the tension increased as O'Sullivan needed to release the pink, which was trapped near the spot by a red. With minimal angle available, he struck the black, using the bottom cushion to redirect the white with spin. This touch nudged the pink, freeing the red and positioning perfectly for the next shot. Now we are perfect. Now he will be going for the 147, trust me. This shot is regarded as one of the finest in snooker history. While O'Sullivan's iconic shot in a 147 break shows his skills when it comes to angles and spin, Stephen Lee's talent shines through in a different way at number 13. Despite controversy surrounding Stephen Lee, his talent with the Q remains undeniable. In this moment, Lee demonstrates his skill without relying on his usual heavy use of side and spin. Facing a blocked path down the table, he opts for a shot that resembles a one-cushion escape. Went for it. What a shot. By striking the cushion first, Lee executes a perfect plant, turning this challenging situation to his advantage. This is by far one of my favorite snooker shots ever. Stephen Lee's shot is all about precision, but you won't believe what Mark Williams' creativity leads him to do in number 12. In a thrilling final between Williams and Higgins, Mark Williams demonstrated his exceptional potting skills. In a remarkable shot, Williams sent a red ball on a journey across the table. <laughs> This shot stands out as one of the most extraordinary plants ever witnessed in snooker. While Mark Williams' potting skills are exceptional, Ronnie O'Sullivan's display of skill in number 11 is unmatched. Staying true to his abilities, Ronnie O'Sullivan executed another snooker shot that defies all logic. It's as if he anticipated the final position of the pink ball while controlling the white to come to rest perfectly behind it. It's shots like these that show why O'Sullivan is regarded as one of the greatest snooker players of all time. In both this moment and number 10, we're witnessing the pure creativity that snooker players bring to the table. Stephen Maguire may not always impress with his overall game, but his ability to execute creative shots is undeniable. Take a look. That could be in the pocket this time, is it? Not a little bit harder and he's got it, you know. Trapped behind the pink at the table's bottom, Maguire needed to hit the green. He used the right-hand side spin to come off the right cushion, sneak under the pink, and put the cue ball in the left bottom pocket. But number nine's remarkable escape left me holding my breath. In the longest single frame ever played at the Crucible, Gary Wilson executed one of the most remarkable snooker escapes in recorded history. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Faced with a challenging position behind the green, he used the back cushion to navigate past the yellow, brown, blue, and pink. The cue then came to rest perfectly among the reds at the bottom of the table. From Wilson's beautiful escape in a challenging frame, we move on to Stephen Hendry's wild pursuit of a 147 break at number 8. Watching a 147 break unfold is always thrilling but when it's achieved by a legend like Stephen Hendry, it's even more special. In this instance, Hendry was on the verge of a maximum break, needing only the pink and black. However, he found himself in an awkward position on the pink. Despite this, he managed to pot the pink and navigate the cube perfectly in and out to set up for the black. With this amazing 147 break, let's move on to witness number 7's incredible wisdom of the game. In this amazing snooker moment, Alex Higgins shows his exceptional skill with not one, but two remarkable shots. Challenged by Virgo, Higgins takes on the challenging task of potting the pink while maintaining position for the black. Hmm. 
The proximity to the pink adds to the difficulty, making the successful pot all the more impressive. However, what puts this moment on the list of unbelievable trick shots is how Higgins finishes on the black. His ability to land the cue in the perfect position for the next shot is nothing short of outstanding. While Higgins shows precision in potting and positioning, number six shows us how physics can be used outside the classroom. A list of top snooker shots wouldn't be complete without Jimmy White, as this incredible shot demonstrates. Trapped behind the blue by O'Sullivan's skillful play, White takes a unique stance, raising the cue almost vertically. Striking down on the white, he executes a rare and satisfying escape. Just see for yourself. The ball on is the brown. Did you see how he got off? And the this shot shows the delayed spin effect, with white applying spin to change the cue's direction. Both this shot and the next show the ability of a world-class snooker player to perform under pressure in number five. In the fifth frame of the 2017 World Championship, Sean Murphy found himself trailing 3-1 against Ronnie O'Sullivan. Needing to narrow the gap against one of Snooker's best frontrunners, Murphy faced a Snooker behind a yellow, limiting his options. He aimed for a red near the left middle pocket, but the direct route was blocked. Top cushion, lots of right-hand side. This oh, is risky. Uh, what a shot this shot. is! Oh, oh, Following Sean Murphy's strategic play, we move on to Mark Allen's impressive performance against Lee Hang in number four. Mark Allen secured a spot in the third round with a 4-1 win against Lee Hang, showing his skills with two centuries and four half centuries. In his second round match against Lee Hang, Allen executed a remarkable shot in the opening frame. He received a round of applause after he managed to hit five cushions before making contact with the He skillfully navigated the cue around the table off five cushions to make contact with the yellow. Moving on to our top three shots, this next shot by Trump is one that was called ridiculous for how unimaginable it was. In the German Masters final, Judd Trump executed a shot that left the audience in awe, marking a standout moment in snooker history. After a strong start leading 5-3, Trump impressed further in the third frame. Despite a brief stumble following Si Jia Hoi's 71 break, Trump regained control, building a 79-6 lead. As ridiculous as that last shot was, number two just goes to show that sometimes all you need is a bit of luck. At the UK Snooker Championship in York, Mark Allen defeated Kyron Wilson 6-3 to reach the quarterfinals where he faced Sam Craigie. Allen's performance was solid, winning six of the last seven frames. However, Wilson grabbed the spotlight in the ninth frame with an incredible black. Take a look. Whoa. <laughs> Although Allen was unimpressed, he secured the frame and match while Wilson left with a memorable highlight. And now, for the moment you and I have both been waiting for, our number one shot, the great escape as I like to call it, was so surprising that not even the person who shot it was expecting it. In the Kochi tournament's second round, Belgian player Briesel faced Higginson and made a remarkable shot. Briesel aimed to hit the green to escape a potential snooker from his opponent. Despite initially missing the green, not all was lost for Briesel as something unexpected happened. He was visibly surprised by this turn of events and offered an apologetic gesture to his opponent. This shot left fans amazed, with one even suggesting that Briesel should pick their lottery numbers due to his incredible luck. So these were 14 insanely good snooker shots that just don't make sense. If you enjoyed these, then don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video for more amazing snooker moments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.